Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Yes, we have another late night video in the shed. We have a vehicle behind me. I need to get it off the lift because I've got jobs on tomorrow. Now, it failed the DOE on a snap bolt on the tow bar. And yes, nightmare, just one of them things. So what I did is try the, the normal, usual methods. Didn't do any good. I welded a nut on it and I could feel it just it was just going to break and go flush with the the thing and cause me more problems and then i remembered i had this fella from hubbard tools it's the vibro shock so what we're going to do is we're going to use this fella on this see if we can remove the stud if we can happy days it saves me drilling and all that messing so this is what we get with a few impact sockets there I'm going to struggle for light, but I'm going to get it as best I can. It's going to be quite noisy because I'm going to be using an air chisel. So what I'll do is I'll kind of show you how to work it off and then I'll either speed up the video or if it's going to take a few minutes, I'll uh, just edit it and you'll, you'll, you'll get the idea. Right, you can see this here. And I've just welded a stud on the top. I didn't put the weld in the middle because we had a stud sticking out, um, I welded along the top. It's just a lot stronger. You can get a lot more weld there and it's a lot stronger. Tried the usual stud removers and stuff like that and just not budging. So squirted a load of lube in it. We're gonna now use the tool. So what you do is you put this on like that. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? There was a light in the way, the tow bar's in the way. You get the idea. So I put this on. I'm going to connect it to the old air chisel and at the same time as hammering it with the air chisel I'm going to try and turn it slacking it on and off on and off on and off and try and eventually get it to completely spin could take a few seconds could take a few minutes I suppose it just depends on the bolts but this is going to get noisy so let's just get that in there there we go let me get the camera angle a bit better first now i hope that's a lot better there you can see what i'm doing so we have it connected what i'm going to do like i said this is going to get noisy but i'm going to press the trigger of the gun and i'm going to work this bolt forwards and backwards and hopefully try and get something moved oh you dirty rotten bolt, bolt. how could you break up you dirty rotten mother oh, dirty rotten how dare you break Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Son of a... Oh, I can't believe... Oh, yes, noisy. Now, what I'm actually doing, we got a bit of movement, but then it kind of seizes again. So I'm slacking it on and off, on and off, and then I'm keeping pressure on it, and it is slowly turning, but then I'm turning it back just to work all the crap the rust and everything off so i'm just going to kind of keep doing it and eventually i'll get more of a turn more of a turn more of a turn till it hopefully comes out oh you dirty rotten bolt. now i don't know if you can see that but it is moving uh i have a feeling this could take a couple of minutes and you don't want to be hearing this just banging for a couple of minutes so i'll leave the camera on my battery's about to go dead Leave the camera on for as long as the battery lasts. I'll speed this part up and hopefully you'll get the idea of what the tool does. Oh God, not again! Oh man alive! Now bear in mind this is a large bolt. This has been in since day dot. There's a lot of crap, rust, and it can get in everywhere. So this is going to be awkward, but we'll get there. We will get there. Oh, you dirty rotten bolt! Bolt, how could you break off? You dirty rotten mother! Oh, dirty rotten, how dare you break? Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Ooh. We're getting there. Hope you can hear me over the compressor. Should really be out wearing goggles. I'm going to get some goggles. Now we can go deep sea diving and we can get this bolt off. Oh, you dirty rotten bolt! bolt how could you break off? You dirty rotten mother! Oh, dirty rotten, how dare you break? Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not a. <laughs> hey! It's out! Whew. 
There we go. Ah. Yes. Whew. It's out. Sorted. Lovely. Right, so there we go. It worked. And a bit of an old workout on the arms because obviously you're holding everything up and it's vibrating. But it worked. That was an M12 bolt it taken out. And I had everything else on this. I had the thread extractors and absolutely everything and just, just wasn't doing anything. Now use this fella. Perfect, there we go, sorted. So, that's how to remove kind of a broken slash seize bolt. Just make sure you work it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, because just to try and go, even when you weld the stud on, um, if you just kept turning and turning with a big bar, you're just gonna snap it flush again. You need to work everything loose. This is why the vibration side of this comes in handy, because this is vibrating, which is working things loose. You open and close, open and close, and it's all helping, it's vibrating, and eventually it'll come out. And when you actually look at it, I mean, the bolt isn't even damaged. If you can just see the thread, there we go, look. Threads are perfect. Um, so it's just amazing how they, they seize in. I'm gonna replace all these with new bolts and stuff and then the tow bar is gonna be sorted. So that's it, the Vibro Shock from Hubbard Tools. Fantastic piece of kit. There we go, so look, hope it helps. Thumbs up, subscribe, the usual. Don't forget, links down here, links up there, but most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty, oh yeah. And also get your boat dirty. Sorted, see you for the next one. So that's it, the Vibro Shock from, so that's it, the Vibro Shock from Hubbard Tools. So that's it, the Vibro Shock from Hubby Tools.